Okay, in this uh, feedback video then, I'm gonna quickly go through the uh, QER um, essay feedback. Um, we're looking here at the structure and function of the organelles visible in the electromicrograph images. So to identify their uh, function. Um, so you uh, may find it useful to have the mark scheme in front of you. Uh, as I go through this, but um, I'm just going to go through my standard answer and uh, explain the logic of uh, how to uh, get the perfect answer. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, answer then. So uh, you've got a bit of information uh, to read that's there to help you uh, answer the question, okay, and to sort of guide you to the right. Uh, sort of answer. Uh, it's talking about uh, cells performing reactions um, required to keep uh, cells and organisms alive. Um, the cells that um, we need to look at here are uh, both uh, animal cells, uh, but they come from different parts of an animal's body okay and um, we're interested in the most abundant organelles that are found inside these cells okay so uh, we give you some clues here that uh, the cells are from a mammal okay um, the images have different magnifications. You need to know that just in case uh, the sizes of the uh, cells and the organelles confuse you. So they are different magnifications. You can exclude the sizes of the organelles. So you are told one cell is from the testes and it becomes met metabolically active at puberty and the other cell is from the pancreas. And the cells in the pancreas are metabolically active from birth. And they function in regulating blood glucose levels. So that's a clue. Um, the test is, is that they, this particular cell comes active at puberty. So um, <clears throat> you needed to identify the most abundant organelles within these cells. So cell or image A here, this, this is the testes, okay, and uh, the organelle that is shown there is the smooth ER. It's got this classic circular or tubular appearance and there's loads of it, okay. So these cell, or this cell uh, becomes active at puberty, so that should have given you an insight to what the function was. SER, smooth ER, it produces testosterone uh, because testosterone is a steroid, uh, sorry, a steroid based uh, lipid. Okay, all right, so these are the testi, uh, the testes, um, smooth ER produce testosterone. This one now is from the pancreas and uh, the fact that you are told it regulates blood glucose levels, you should know it's insulin. And insulin is a protein. So the organelles visible in this image that are needed to make a protein is the REF ER here. Okay, the nucleus here. Mitochondria here. Okay, and these things are secretory vesicles. Okay, now there are other organelles needed to make a protein, but they're not visible in this micrograph. Uh, so you shouldn't be talking about them. For example, you shouldn't have mentioned the Golgi body, really. Okay, so... Um, the question then here is describe the structure and function of the organelles visible in the electron micrograph images and so identify the function of the cells. Uh, so I've already identified the organelles. I've told you the uh, functioning of the cells. So 
we just have to briefly go over the uh, structure of the organelles and how they uh, work to produce either testosterone or uh, insulin. Okay, so the first thing um, I tell you, uh, or you should put in the answer, is the uh, uh, which cell is the testes, which is the pancreas. Okay, a um, bit of a typo there, that should just be uh, B. Okay, um, so I think most of that first paragraph is self explanatory. I just go through the visible organelles, I say what they do um, and confirm uh, which cell is from the pancreas and which is from the testes. Okay, so then you need to go on and talk about uh, how the organelles, uh, how their structure relates to their function. So I started with the insulin hormone production okay got to talk about the nucleus here that it has the uh, dna and therefore is the genetic code their instructions to make a protein you need to mention that they're converted to messenger rna or the the genetic code is that leaves the nucleus via the nuclear pore and attaches to the ribosome okay um the Ribosomes, I've mentioned that they're made in the nucleolus, although the nucleolus has, wasn't seen on that image, I have mentioned it anyway. Um, function of the ribosome, okay. Uh, production of protein needs ATP, so that brings in the mitochondria and aerobic respiration. Uh, small piece of um, mitochondria structure okay um, and then the rough ER is uh, the structure of it interconnected flattened cisterni extensions of the outer nuclear envelope and then I talk about the protein traveling through the ER and I do mention that it beds off and transported to the Golgi I think that's fine to add in even though it's not in the image okay um, but you do need to say that the protein is packaged in secretory vesicles for export from the cell. So hopefully you can see there it's a nice concise answer. It's mentioning everything in a logical order. Okay, um, before a protein can be made it needs the genetic code. So that's why I've talked about that first. Okay, and then go on to the rough ER and the um, mitochondria. So, um, the next uh, part now, um, sorry, the, the first part of the essay I've actually talked about the testes, that's right, as well. Uh, there's not as much you can say about this, okay. Um, so I talk about the smooth ER, uh, it's an extension of the rough ER, okay, it comes out of the rough ER, and um, it's made of a disordered um, argument, that should be arrangement uh, of tubes, okay. Um, <coughs> so yeah, that uh, there's just a small part there for the testes, okay, and... Uh, I do mention there that you get the testosterone is a steroid uh, fat hormone. <clears throat> okay, um, so that's the brief feedback for <clears throat> the um, QER uh, answer. Um, check through my answer, compare it with yours, check the mark scheme as well to see how uh, your answer fits with the marking scheme and uh, what, what exact mark you've got. Okay, so that's the end of this uh, feedback video.